Hi guys, welcome back to my Ooh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're gonna go through my empties. I haven't done one of these since basically last year, the end of last year. So I have some products here and I'm going to be framing this video just slightly differently. I'm going to actually be adding up the value of all of my empties and I'm going to be totaling that throughout the year. I just think it will be interesting to find out how much I'm actually using up for the year. Pretty sure I used to do this. And to me, it just makes like collecting and hoarding my trash like a little more interesting, I think, hopefully. <laughs> and I think with my beauty budget, trying to like track what I'm actually bringing in, it'll be interesting to see what I've actually used up and how much it would have cost to have all that stuff in my life and to see if it's like even to the beauty budget, if it's not, you get it, we all get it. Okay, so let's just get into it in no particular order. We're gonna start off with Batiste because I used up two of these. Sam and I love this stuff and this is the dry shampoo and tropical. It is the large size and I do get these at Marshall for $9 a piece. We can go through one of these probably in about a month. We use quite a bit of dry shampoo. At the moment, I don't have any good dry shampoos, but I'm trying really hard to use those ones up while I don't have a good one because I'm always gonna reach for the better performing product over something that doesn't perform as well. And so that's why I end up having all these bottles. But at the same time, I don't wanna get rid of them because I've already used up like a lot of it. Might as well just finish it, but then I never do that and I always want like the good product. <laughs> uh, it's a whole struggle, it's a whole struggle. So um, I definitely can't wait to get more these in my life. I also would love to have the Moroccan oil one. I just do love that one. It's just smaller and obviously more expensive. So yeah, can't wait to repurchase these. I just have like two or maybe even three on their last legs and I just want to finish them and be done and never have to look at those freaking bottles again. That's what I want. So I'm being stingy and like kind of punishing myself. I'm gonna be leaving prices, I think, on the screen. I might like get fancy with my editing. <laughs> so that's where they'll be if I don't mention them in the video. This is the It's a 10 uh, Potion 10 Miracle Repair Shampoo. This is grimy. I've had this product for so long. We all know at this point I have fine, thin hair and my needs are basically volume, 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 volume. And this is not that. This is more of like a moisturizing or conditioning shampoo, but I've had this bottle. I also have the conditioner, but I go through shampoo fast than conditioner. I'm like the only freak who does that. And I had had this bottle lying around, not opened for years. My mom usually gets us shampoo and conditioner and different hair products for Christmas since she's a hairdresser. And so I've had this since, I wanna say probably before I moved, like five years, like seriously forever, unopened forever. And I kept smelling the bottle, it still smelled good. And I finally was like, okay, Lauren, before you open something new and fancy and shiny, you have to use these or get rid of them. So I used it. I don't have a preference on this like it was fine I would use it up again if I had it I wouldn't purchase it though um, yeah it just is what it is I just need something to like get all the grease out of my hair and all the dry shampoo out of my hair <laughs> okay, moving on to some hand soaps because you guys know I have like a fetish for hand soaps this is one I used up from Bath and Body Works it's the winter candy apple and I specifically love this one because of the type of hand soap it is it's in the exfoliating version so it has like these little sugar crystals essentially in it that as you wash your hands, scrub them, and it just feels so nice and refreshing. The scent Winter Candy Apple is not my favorite. I don't really care about this scent at all. I wouldn't repurchase this scent, but I don't know if they're still doing the exfoliating hand soaps. When I went in before, oh, it does smell good. I don't know. It smells like a shampoo though. It's weird. Anyway, I don't know if they're doing the exfoliating hand soaps anymore. <sighs> Makes me kind of sad, although we're using the Aesop one that's also exfoliating and I love it so much and Sam loves it so much. Plus it's like double the size of any of the hand soaps that I have. So I feel like we'll go through less of them and there'll be less like actual plastic waste, but it's also like $40. <laughs> You know, it's a struggle. <laughs> I don't know why. Why do I have to love hand soap? Why of all things? Seriously, what the heck? Anyway, I have another empty here. This one is just from Costco. I got it in a four pack and it is the hibiscus and cocoa. This smelled really nice actually. Um, this is just like a really, to me, a basic hand soap. Like it was fine. I don't get like warm fuzzies in my heart about it though. <laughs> and uh, some hand soaps do that to me. So I know that this isn't the perfect fit, but value wise, very inexpensive. I think I got the entire four pack for like 10 bucks and there were four of these huge ones. This is 2.1 fluid ounces compared to this little guy, which I think is just eight. 8.3. So right there, you know, can't com really compare. This just lasts so much longer. I don't think I, I would repurchase again. If I did, I'd want it to be the ones in like the glass bottles. Moving on to some wipes. I have made this like pact with myself that I'm, 
I'm really not buying wipes. I haven't bought wipes in I don't know how long and I'm really trying to stick to that because I think that they're very wasteful. And when I say I think like they are, <laughs> um, it's not like opinion, it just is true. And so I'd either like to find a way that I can maybe use like biodegradable ones that biodegrade in like so much time. I don't know, maybe that would be a better solution. That or I'm just gonna get some actual like pads you can wash and wash and wash um, and just use like my cellar water or another way to remove my stuff. But if I get them in PR or I get them some other way, I'm going to use them. That's like my compromise, I know. It's just tough. Like, do you guys have something out there that you're like, oh, <laughs> I know I shouldn't maybe do this, but I still am. That's what wipes are for me and I'm working on it. So anyway, I have these ones from Cogendo. It's just a small pack of 10. These are actually really nice. They were so thick. The wipes themselves were very quality. I'm pretty sure they're kind of expensive though because I know Cogendo is kind of an expensive brand. So I wouldn't purchase them, but I did enjoy them and by golly, at this point, most of the time, I'll take any wipes. These ones from Purlease, these are the Watermelon Energizing Makeup Remover Wipes, and these ones I actually really enjoyed too. They are more oily than I'm used to or something that I usually would prefer, but this is the second time I've used up a pack of these, and I did like them the second time around. Yeah, they're good, they're really good. And then I had one here, this is from my makeup kit actually, and I just felt like it was time to use these up so that they didn't go bad. These are just the aloe vera, uh, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I get these at Big Lots for a dollar a pack. They're so cheap and so great. I wish I was still buying them sometimes and then I'm like, no, no, don't do it, girl. Don't go back to your old habits. So I haven't. Moving on from <laughs> wipes, I have these In Beauty Project uh, Electrify Lightning Bolt Eye Masks. These are actually blue and they like look like a lightning bolt. I did use them. I thought these were okay. I don't think they're anything special. If you need some deep puffing or you just wanna like have a treat yourself moment, obviously like they work for that. But I think a lot of stuff would work for that. I think they're like cute and Instagrammable because of the shape. I have a few more of them. I'll use them up and stuff, but I'm just not really into any of these types of like eye masks, face masks that are like single use like that. But I do wanna start using up what I have and then, you know, not purchase any ever. <laughs> Continuing on with skincare, these are some like zit stickers. These are the Killa for early stage and newfound zits. They're the zit stickers. I really did like these. I think they work really well and Sam's been liking them too. But I will say that this is very like bulky for how much you get. You really don't get a lot in here. Let me try to find the amount. It doesn't say how many you get, but I'm telling you it's not that many. There's a cleaning like step where they give you a little wipe you can wipe down. It's like an alcohol wipe essentially. And then you put the little sticker on. I do find when you peel off the sticker and you put it on, it almost spikes into your skin. And I think that really helps and works. It's not like hurt, it doesn't hurt, but kind of, I don't know. It's interesting. I think it works really well and I've never been into these types of stickers. I have a few more of these and I'm gonna use them up, but I think in the future, one, I just feel like this is so bulky for not a lot of product. They easily can just be on a sticker sheet. I feel like that's way less wasteful and um, since it's something I do wanna use, I wanna get the most bang for my buck. I want it to not have a bunch of little pieces and so much like bulk. So that's how I feel about the little zit stickers. I do really like them and if you have a brand you really enjoy, let me know. Let's talk about a few like exciting makeup-ish type things. I used up a mini of my Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy lip balm. This was in my purse. I really do like this lip balm. I like the original like slightly better, but I think this is like just the same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know what the difference really is. I hate them in the little tubes. I've talked about that. It just gets messy and the base gets broken off. It's just a beautiful lip balm. If you're looking for something and you want to go bougie, I don't think you have to go more bougie than the fresh one. It just works really well. And I've tried a Pat McGrath one. I've tried a lot of lip balms. It's another thing I really, really enjoy. And just to me, like my standard favorite, if I just have to pick one, it's the fresh one. It's so good. This is a little spoiler to my project pan I have going on. And I'm sorry, but I wanted to add it in here and have it a part of this so I didn't forget anything. But this is the VDL primer. It's the Lumi layer primer. And I know Hannah loves this thing and I got a sample of it and I really do like it as well. I do think it's a really nice primer. I love a good primer and I have quite a few at the moment. I totally understand why people love it, why Hannah loves it. I do think it's a really nice one. I'm not sure if it's the one I would repurchase. I really love the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie Primer. That one's one of my favorites. And I also like the Becca First Light 
priming filter, which I think is the purple one. I mean the purple one, even if that's not the right name. Those two are probably my favorite ones at the moment that I would probably repurchase over this, but I did enjoy it. I also have another little tiny sample here. This is the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. I've had this for a long time and I wanted to use it because I'd already been digging into it. I was like, it's a small little sample. Like you can do it, girl, you can do it. And I'm proud of myself for using it up finally. It took way too long. I did enjoy this. I really like these this like weird creamsicle smell that the Glam Glow products have. I also felt like this is very weird in the sense that it, it is true to the matte glow moisturizer. It does leave your skin matte, but also glowy. <laughs> I know. It's not like greasy, glowy looking. It looks like you have a powder glow on almost. Oh my God, did you hear my voice crack? That was crazy. I enjoyed it. I don't think I would purchase this product. It's probably expensive. It's fine. You know, like I'm glad I used it and I didn't mind using it, but I don't think I'd repurchase. And for any of these samples, I'm probably just gonna count anything that's a sample that you can't buy as an actual product in a sample form as like a $2 product. I don't know, that, that's just what I'm gonna do probably. <laughs> oh my gosh, my fingers are peeling so much, so please don't mind it. And I pointed it out and now you guys wouldn't have even noticed, but now you do notice. Okay, this is from Jo Malone and this is a little sample perfume vial that I got and I freaking love it. It's orange bitters. And what I love about it, it smells like orange and it smells, yeah, it smells like orange bitters, but it also has this like manly cologne scent kind of to it. It's been like the one I've gone to over and over and over. I think I had three of these vials and I think I might be done with all of them. <sighs> I'm like tempted to buy the full size at some point. That's how much I like it. I did see it on Jo Malone's website. I think it's like a limited edition scent, but ooh, it's nice. It's so nice. And if you happen to have a Jo Malone counter next to you, maybe ask if they have any little vials that you can try out. Speaking of perfumes, we'll just finish this one off. This is the Eccentric Molecule Perfume. I did repurchase this. Well, Sam purchased it for me for my birthday, but we use it together. It's our signature scent together. This is just the original one and it smells so freaking good. I had purchased our new one off of the TJ Maxx website for $72 when this is usually like 140-ish dollars. Once again, my voice is cracking. <laughs> Lord, help me finish this video. Highly suggest this fragrance. It's one of my, it's probably my favorite fragrance. Like if I had to just have one, it'd probably just be this. It's just such a staple. It makes me feel good. I can always tell if Sam's wearing it, it just like picks my mood up. It's a great unisex scent that's not too sweet, but it's not like musky or anything like that either. It's just amazing. All right, we just have a few more things to talk about. I have a face cream here from Elemis. This was in one of my BoxyCharm boxes, and this is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is like a cult staple classic product from Elemis, and this is a very expensive line. I know that they have like a lot of spas on like cruise ships and stuff. We used to sell it at my old store, so that's like what I know about it. It's like what I know about Elemis. Anyway, I did enjoy this. I thought it was nice. It smelled like the Rodial, Rod, Rodial, Rodial Dragon's Blood Cream. I had a couple of those at one point uh, in the past because they had them at Costco for so cheap. They were like $25 a piece, even though they're like a $100 face cream. So at that point I had bought like four of them and Sam loved it. Sam loved this just as much and he did like the smell, but this thing's expensive. I would never purchase it. I don't think it's that good. I'd rather just purchase the <laughs> glow recipe. At least it's cheaper. I finished up a hand cream and this is from Crabtree and Evelyn. Another thing I have an obsession with is hand cream. And I'm really working through a lot of them right now, trying really hard to have a really stable bedtime routine for my lips and my fingers because they need it. Like I just told you how they're peeling. <laughs> I literally just told you that. So you get it. This is the verbena and lavender and it smelled like that. It was kind of this like um, citrusy lavender scent. It was nice. I bought that in a pack at Costco and there are a lot of them in it. And I'm, I'm a little nervous that all the scents aren't going to work out for me. So we'll see. I might have to get rid of some, but I do really like the hand therapy hand cream formula from Crabtree and Avalon. I don't know if I'm gonna count this as my money, but I do have a toothpaste. I always talk about my toothpaste and stuff. It's just Crest I got at Costco in like a huge pack. So we just never have to worry about buying toothpaste again. And then last, my crusty, dusty Dove deodorant. This is the Advanced Care in Caring Coconut. I did enjoy this, but I'm on the lookout for another deodorant. Um, I'm, I'm kind of exploring my options outside of Dove. I've just always stuck to Dove, but I think I'm ready to move on and find something either more natural, maybe something in different like packaging that's better. I don't know. Something like that just seems a little bit more up my alley and something I'm a little bit more interested in than just repurchasing Dove. So that's probably what I will do. Okay, that is everything guys for my empties. Let's add up the total. I'm gonna sit here and add it all up really fast and I will let you know what it is. 
All right, I've sat here for like way too freaking long figuring all this out. So I wanted to talk about a few things that I thought was interesting, like the most expensive products really fast. So when I went to look this up, this is $128 cream for your face. Glad I got to try it for BoxyCharm, but that is so freaking expensive. I think the most expensive item in here was the perfume at $135 on Bloomingdale's website. Really do love this and have repurchased, but I do think trying to find it on a discount as much as I can is obviously worth it to me because I do love it so much. Um, I would buy it full price, but of course would want to save. These were shocking. Oh my gosh. These are the 10 wipes is the regular size first off for $23. And then you can buy a three pack of them on Sephora's website for $59. What? That's crazy. Way too expensive. Were they good? Yes. Did they feel luxury for sure? But $23 for 10 wipes is absolutely bonkers. And last, I just wanted to mention, this is just stuff I thought while I was like looking it up. This is the, the Zit Sticker, and there's only eight of them in here. So you only get eight times applications for $29. But I will say they do mention that little pricking I was talking about. They call that micro dart. Like they have little micro darts. And I don't know, we'll see if I try other brands because I do feel like that is something that really works and I feel it. Like I feel it kind of like micro dart into my skin. So if I try other brands and they don't work as well potentially this might be worth it but it's just I really wish that they had a way you could buy this more value wise like more at a time once you know you like it something that's not as bulky like I get packaging but geez okay anyway just wanted to mention that so let's add it up let me tell you what I used up in product I also wanted to mention actually one more thing <laughs> that I did my best to calculate these like I said any of the minis that I couldn't find prices for that you can't buy in that size were two dollars and then for everything else I did the retail estimated price unless it's like a weird product and I just know what I paid for it or whatever anyway just thought I'd let you know I feel like the samples kind of even everything out in terms of pricing. All right, so my total of used items, the best of my abilities and calculations is $395.97 worth of used products here, which is so much. It's like $400 worth of crap. That's crazy to me. Um, I feel lucky to have been able to try these, whether I bought them myself or whether I was sent them to try or given them as gifts from people. Um, I'm appreciative of that. It definitely shows me Well, that noise, I know you have to hear that. Well, I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of different twist on my empties, and I'm really excited to be calculating prices. I calculate everything that comes in, and I think it's gonna be interesting to calculate the things that go out and what I'm actually using up and what that actually comes out to in money. The thing is, at the end of the day, the money is what really, I think, opens people's eyes and my eyes as to, is it worth it? How many are you going through? Uh, is that value worth it? It can seem like it is. And then you're like, holy crap, the Cogendo wipes. Uh, if you go through three of these a month, $60 on wipes in one month, that's insane. Uh, I ain't that rich, okay? <laughs> I wish I was, but I, I wish I was that rich, but still wasn't doing that. Anyway, I gotta go. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so, so much for watching. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.